Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson 14, finding solutions to inequalities in context. Problem number one. The solution to five minus three X is greater than 35 is either X is greater than negative 10 or negative 10 is greater than X. Which solution is correct? Explain how you know. The correct solution is negative 10 is greater than x. And here's why. Subtract 5 from both sides of the inequality, and you're left with negative 3x is greater than 30. Divide both sides of the inequality by negative 3. When you're changing this value of x from negative to positive, you also change the inequality sign. In this case, it changes from a greater than to a less than. And that leaves you with x is less than negative 10, which can be rewritten as negative 10 is greater than x. So the solution to this inequality is negative 10 is greater than x. Problem number two. The school band director determined from past experience that if they charge T dollars for a ticket to the concert, they can expect attendance of 1,000 minus 50 times T. The director used this model to figure out that the ticket price needs to be $8 or greater in order for at least 600 to attend. Do you agree with this claim? Why or why not? The band director is using the model 1,000 minus 50 times T, and T is the price of the ticket. So in this case, we can substitute T with $8 or greater. We can test this model out by substituting T with $8 and then substituting T with a larger amount. When we substitute T with 8, it now reads 1,000 minus 50 times 8. 50 times 8 is 400, so it reads 1,000 minus 400. And 1,000 minus 400 is 600. So, so far, it checks out. Now let's substitute the T with something greater than $8, like $8.50. 1,000 minus 50 times $8.50. That's the same as 1,000 minus 425. Since 1,000 minus 425 is 575, and 575 is less than 600, then I don't agree with the band director. Let's test it out by changing the ticket price to something less than $8. Let's use $5.50. So the model now reads 1,000 minus 50 times $5.50. Since 50 times $5.50 equals 275, the model now reads 1,000 minus 275. And 1,000 minus 275 is 725. And 725 is greater than 600. That tells me that the price of the tickets has to be $8 or less in order for at least 600 people to attend. Problem number three from seventh grade unit six, lesson 13. Which inequality is true when the value of x is negative three? A, negative x minus six is less than negative 3.5. When we substitute the x with a negative three, this now reads negative negative three, or the opposite of negative three minus six is less than negative 3.5. Since a negative times a negative is a positive, we can rewrite this as positive three or three minus six is less than negative 3.5. Since three minus six is negative three, the inequality now reads negative three is less than negative 3.5. And that's not true because negative three is closer to zero on the number line compared to negative 3.5. So negative three is actually greater than negative 3.5. B, negative x minus six is greater than 3.5. Let's substitute the x with a negative three. Now the equation reads negative times negative three minus six is greater than 3.5. Since a negative times a negative is a positive, we can rewrite this as three minus six is greater than 3.5. Three minus six is negative three. So this now reads negative three is greater than 3.5, which is not true 
because negative 3 is actually less than 3.5. C. Negative x minus 6 is greater than negative 3.5. Let's substitute the x with a negative 3. Now the inequality reads negative times a negative 3 minus 6 is greater than negative 3.5. Since a negative times a negative is a positive, this becomes a positive 3 minus 6 is greater than negative 3.5. Since 3 minus 6 is negative 3, and negative 3 is greater than negative 3.5, then this is true. Remember, negative 3 is closer to the 0 on a number line than negative 3.5. So negative 3 is greater than negative 3.5. So for inequality C, the value for x is negative 3. D. x minus 6 is greater than negative 3.5. Let's substitute the x with a negative 3. Now the inequality reads negative 3 minus 6 is greater than negative 3.5. Since negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9 and negative 9 is not greater than negative 3.5, then this is not true. For D, the value for x is not negative 3. C is the only inequality that's true when the value for x is negative 3. Problem number four from seventh grade, unit six, lesson 13. Draw the solution set for each of the following inequalities. A, x is less than or equal to five. Since we're talking about five, I can circle it, but it says that x is less than or equal to, so we need to bubble in that circle. Fill in the circle to represent equal to, so in this case, it's going to be equal to or less than five. That means that the arrow on the number line needs to point to the left to represent all the numbers that are less than or equal to 5. The inequality sign actually helps you identify which way the arrow is going to point on the number line. Look at this inequality sign. It's a less than or equal to, which happens to be pointing towards the left. That means that your arrow is going to point towards the left on the number line. B x is less than 5 over 2. That's equivalent to x is less than 2 and a half. Locate 2 and a half and circle it. This time we're not going to bubble it in because it's not less than or equal to, it's only less than. So we'll keep it just a circle without filling it in. Now look at the inequality sign, the less than sign. It's pointing to the left. That means that the arrow on the number line also will point to the left. Take a look at this example. When graphing this inequality, you'll circle 2.5 or 2.5, and, and then the arrow will point to the left. That represents all the numbers that are less than 2.5. Problem number five from seventh grade, unit six, lesson three. Write three different equations that match the tape diagram. This rectangle represents 19 plus these seven boxes, each with one X inside. That represents plus 7x. So far we have 19 plus 7x. 40 represents the entire amount. That means that 19 plus 7x equals 40. This is one example of an equation that matches the tape diagram. We can rewrite that equation as 40 equals 7x plus 19. That also represents the tape diagram. And we can subtract 19 from each side of the equal sign to find another equation that matches the tape diagram. Problem number six from seventh grade, unit six, lesson two. A baker wants to reduce the amount of sugar in his cake recipes. He decides to reduce the amount used in one cake by one half cup. He then uses four and a half cups of sugar to bake six cakes. A. Describe how the tape diagram represents the story. You can see that there's six boxes, and inside each of those six boxes is x minus one half. And underneath the six boxes, it says that the total amount is worth four and a half. The x in the tape diagram and the x in my equation represent each cake. The minus one half represents removing a half a cup of sugar from that cake. The four and a half represents the total of cups of sugar used to make all six cakes. B. How much sugar was originally used in each cake recipe? 
To figure this out, all we have to do is solve for x. 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times negative 1 half is negative 3. So now the equation reads 6x minus 3 equals 4 and a half. Add 3 to both sides and you have 6x equals 7 and a half. Divide both sides by 6 and you have x equals 7 and a half divided by 6, which is 1 and a quarter or 1 and a fourth. That means that in the original recipe, each cake had 1 and 1 fourth cups of sugar in it. Problem number seven from seventh grade unit four, lesson 12. One year ago, Claire was four feet six inches tall. Now Claire is four feet 10 inches tall. By what percentage did Claire's height increase in the last year? A year ago, Claire was four feet six inches tall. That's equal to 54 inches. Now Claire is four feet 10 inches tall. That's equal to 58 inches. The difference between her height this year and her height last year divided by her height last year will tell us the percentage that Claire's height increased over the past year. 58 minus 54 is 4, and 4 divided by 54 is approximately 0 0.0740, which is approximately 7.4%. That means that Claire's height increased approximately 7.4% over the past year. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.